Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's try out a few more example problems from chapter three. So in this one I have a body-centered cubic crystal cyst structure. And I want to figure out the volume of its unit cell. Now, this isn't really all that hard to do, but it does take a little bit of thought. So first off, body-centered cubic, what does it look like? Well, there are atoms at every single corner, and in the middle, there is an atom as well, which apparently in this case, I'm gonna draw huge. I didn't do a very good job of it. Okay, something like that. Is it the best one in the world? Not at all. Let's try, let's do a little bit better job here. There we go. That's good. So there's my body center cubic structure. So what I need to figure out is what is the length of one of the sides? It's metric, it is a cube. So if I know one of the sides, what that length is, we'll call that A. And if I know that in terms of the radius, I can solve everything else. So for any of these problems, you need to make sure you can find what direction is this touching along. Now for this one, it's not that easy. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this without the little balls so I can see it. So for this guy, the only place it's touching is straight from the middle of one all the way from one at corner to the opposite corner. And so I need to figure out what that length is right there. The easy way to do that is to draw it. So I'm gonna draw it, but I'm only gonna look at this particular plane and draw this triangle right here. So we'll pull that out. And now let's go ahead and put in um, our circles. So I've got one circle right here. I've got another one in the middle. I've got a third one right here. And I also have a circle right here. These two on this other end don't touch, but those do. Perfection. So this side is length A. That's one of my edges that I need to do. The bottom one is not. I don't really need to worry about that one. And then I have this guy right here. <clears throat> okay, so in this case, my hypotenuse is 4R. That's pretty easy because I see I have one radius, two, three radiuses, and then finally a fourth radius. So this gets me closer but not quite all the way there to solving for it. Now we gotta figure out some angles. What are they? How am I gonna do it? So it's not too bad to do. So if I'm looking at this right here, the first guess you might make is, well, that's a 45 degree angle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that'd be the case if these lengths were the same, but they are not the same, so it is not a 45 degree angle. This one right here is though. So let's see if we can use anything else to help ourselves get to where we're going. Well, let's look at this bottom triangle and see if it can help us. So I'm gonna draw that second triangle here. There we go. We have a ball here, we have a ball here, we have a ball here. So this side right here is a length A. That side right there is also a length A. And these two sides, well, they're the same exact side. So if I can solve for it, I can solve for all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve for this side in terms of A. So that would be A squared plus A squared is equal to, um, I'll just call it B for now, or yeah, B, that would work fine, is equal to B squared. So B is equal to the square root of two A squared. Okay, so I then plug this into here. I have a square root of 2. So with that now I can then find out what um, r is or what a is in terms of r. So I'll have a squared plus 2a squared is equal to 16 r squared. So 3a squared is equal to 16 times the radius squared. And I am so close to having it. So I bring that over to the other side, I get a squared is equal to 16 over three r squared. And therefore the outside edge length is equal to four over the square root of three times r. My volume then would be just the cube of that. So that would be 64 times r cubed 
all over 3 square root of 3. If I plug in my numbers, which was 0 0.201 nanometers for R, then I get a volume that's equal to 0 0.1 nanometer cubed. Beautiful. So in all these problems that ask you for volumes, they're always just saying, what signs does it um, connect along? You'll need that to get R. And everything else is getting it in terms of your edge length A. Thank you all so much. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.